Hello guys, welcome back to Extreme Reactors tutorial. In this episode, we're going to go over creating the turbine, which is this over oh, here. Nice. Okay, so first we want to recap on what we were doing before. Okay. These reactors were running and they were producing a waste product. So over here, if you click on the outlet, you have some. Outlets. You have some blue ore, right? Yep. So take that. That's called cyanite ore, or cyanite ore, I think. It is cy cyanite ore. Yes, cyan as in the color. And oh, I just realized we haven't got a crafting bench anywhere. If you put that um, in a circle in a crafting bench, okay. I will get you a crafting bench now. Thank you. It'll make plutonium. Plutonium. <laughs> is that right? Is that it? Yeah, it's plutonium. Yeah. It, right. That sounds made. And. Up. Cyanite and Plutonium are all used for crafting these. Okay, what is this? This is the turbine. What does it do? It's obvious, isn't it? It's a turbine. <laughs> okay. So, um... Creates energy. When you, when you build a reactor... Okay. You start in passive uh, cooling. And this is actively cooling, so you want to build an out a fluid outlet that'll pump water into the turbine. Uh-huh. And gas out, steam out. And the steam goes into here, flows through this, and then comes back as water. It goes back in. Okay, so it's a cooling system for this, right? Not power system. Yeah. Okay. Except, and that means the reactor doesn't generate any power. The turbine does. Okay. Okay. Right. So we're converting the energy into steam. Right. So let's start with the stuff you need. Okay. Um, first thing we want to make is the reactor coolant port. Reactor coolant port. Okay. This goes on the reactor. So easy enough to make. Okay, so just one of these? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, let's actually start by um, hooking this up so we can see if it's going. So we come over to this chest. Okay. Coming. And there, on the top left, there is two reactor coolant ports. Okay. Do I grab those? Yep, grab them. Okay. And I realized I haven't got a pick, so I'm just going to go and create a so you want to put it in the side of this, this reactor, there and there. We want two of them. Okay. Cool. On on the reactor, not on the turbine. Ah, oh, quick! It's all flowing out. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm teleporting away. Okay, <laughs> <Can't> okay. <do> <laughs> it. So put the first one in there. Let me close it. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Now we got to do another one at the top. You ready? Okay. I can reach. Uh oh. Um, good job, good job. <laughs> I will put that one in for you. <laughs> Oops. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. So these have an inlet and outlet mode, just like the uh, access ports, and the turbine have a similar thing. Okay. So this one is an outlet at the bottom, on this side. So we want it to be an inlet on this side. Okay. You see the arrows so, going oh, in. Oh, I see. So this is coming out, and then it's going to go in. Okay. Yeah, and the colours actually match as well. So. Kind of. Yeah. And if you grab it, if you still got a ha uh, wrench on you. I do have a wrench. If you right-click the top one on the reactor. Okay. So right. it's coming now, out now. And yeah. out. And then. And going in this Into side. there. Okay. Right. Out so I have in. a load of. Out and in. Okay. I have a load of these. They're super laminar fluid ducts from um, thermal expansion. Okay. I think the thermal expansion. Uh, Actually, I don't think it's called thermal expansion. It's my back. It's transfers fluid. Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, transfers fluid. That's what it does. That's what it does. Yeah. It's from thermal series in this. I don't know what that's about. Okay. Okay, so if you are going to join this together, we're going to go straight across. Like that. Okay. Do you want to do the bottom one as well, and then like that. And what people forget about in this one is you actually need to fill the system full of water before it'll work. Okay. So I'm going to put this down here. And I've got I've got these things. You grab, grab one of them. Okay. Grab two of them. And you want to put that on top of the pipe here. Portable tank. Just there. So yeah, I've just used a portable tank to um, get some water in. And uh, I didn't give you... Oh, you have the crescent hammer. It's a different hammer. Okay. And right-click on these tanks, and it'll turn them to outlet mode. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, and do the other one as well. So now we're filling, filling this pipe. Filling this. Right. Okay. Come, come with me. Come with me. So to the front of the reactor. With, we fill it with water, and, and then we don't need to keep filling it with water. We just need to initially put in some water to go around yes. the system. Okay. That is right. Water cool so system. click on the reactor. Okay. See, it's different now. It's got two bars at the bottom. Oh yeah. Okay. So we got a coolant water tank and a hot fluid tank. Okay. So if you start the reactor up. Start the reactor. Oh, okay. You can see there's also a hot, hot fluid output. It's a steam, okay. So the water's on, filling in steam. Yeah, and there's a hot fluid output on the top left. On the top left. Uh, what's that? Top left, second one down. Oh, I see. Right, we've actually run out of water, so I'm going to put more water in the system. Oh, I haven't got any, um... Come bring your hammer. hammer. Put more water in for me. There we go. Right. Okay, now, now the, the steam pipe is full. Okay. And it was filling up. Okay, so, uh... What we need to do is actually switch the turbine on to start using the steam. Okay. So, if you come over to the controller here... Okay. And you can click activate turbine. Activate turbine... Turbine. Bottom left, and you can come out the menu. You can see it's starting to turn. Oh, nice! So the steam is going in. Mhm. Mm and condensing at the top, turning into water. Yeah, and coming back up. Okay. And if you go back into this menu, a few more things. Um, so induction coils. Can you see that? Uh, induction coils. Third one from the bottom on the left. Third one from the bottom, I think, okay. So at the moment the induction coils are on, they're engaged. Okay. So that means it generates power, but it also creates, creates drag within the turbine. So if you disengage them... So, disengage coils. Mm -hmm. So it won't produce any power, but it'll actually spin up much faster. So you can see the turbine spinning up. That's my phone. <laughs> oh, it stopped. Okay. Never mind. Good. <laughs> okay, so um, if you have a look on the rotary speed, that's the first bar. Yep. There says the rotors perform best at 900 or 1800 RPM. Mhm. Mm so what you want to want to do is try and um make the rotors stay at that speed. Okay. So we'll aim for at 900 since we're there. So you want to engage coil. Okay. So this is extracting uh, energy. But the oh, speed is going energy. up. Uh, yes. The speed is going up too fast, though. So you see the bottom right, there's decrease max flow rate. Mm -hmm. You hold control down and click that a few times. Control. So holding control down will reduce it by 100 each t click. Okay. okay. So keep going down because you're way past 900 still. Right, here we go. So it's dropping down. I'm doing it. It's down to zero. <laughs> uh, you don't want it to be a zero. So you need to go up a bit higher. You want to try and balance the turbine speed on the top left. To be 900. It would be about 900, yeah. Okay, yes. And that will produce your maximum power. Why 900? That's what the bar says. 900 or 1800. Ah, yeah. Best performs at 900 or, or 1800. 900 or 1800? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, because it's... Okay. So yeah, you want to try and balance it, but let's um, let's just take it up to get it a bit faster. Okay. And uh, we'll just leave that for now, should we? We'll just let that spin up while it does the thing. Okay. So and it produces more energy if it's around those targets. And balancing those things is a is a fine art. Okay. Yep. Let's move on to creating the turbine. Okay. So, just like last time, you have to do a similar thing with turbine housing. So, for that, you need this turbine housing core, which uses a comparator, redstone, normal redstone comparator, two graphite, four iron, and gold. Okay. Okay, and then you take this core. Okay. And you put it into this one. So, you need four platinum, two graphite. And two tungsten, so it's really expensive. Yeah. I think in the older expansions, it it was um, 
It was much cheaper. Uh, you didn't have tanks, and I think it's just graphite, and graphite was easy to make. Okay. But then, um, same thing for the reactor glass. You just put two blocks of glass in with the housing, and you make you. Okay. Two bank glass. Okay. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Okay. Next one is the controller. Okay. Two plutonium, which we made earlier. We do. I have one now. Mm-hmm. A diamond and two housing. Okay. So this is a controller for the turbine. Okay. Then this one here is the rotor shaft for the turbine. That uses the cyanite. This is used cyanite, yeah, not yeah. plutonium. And iron. Mm -hmm. And then you have the blades, rotor blades. Okay, cyanite. Similar again. recipe. Yeah. This is the okay. bearing for the rotor. Okay. So you need two rotor shafts, three diamonds at housing. Okay. And another power tap, like before. Okay, for the output. Recipe. Yeah, simple. Okay. And the fluid ports. Okay. So that's another easy recipe. Yep. This again right. Here. So yes. come over here and grab some of this stuff. Okay. Uh, ignore that bottom row, you don't need that. So everything from the top. Yeah. Everything. Get all of them. Oh, I got oh, so much stuff. I should clear that my inventory. Two seconds. Um, about there. I should have said to clear out your inventory. Don't worry. It's okay. Oh, we will be okay. Right, now what we're going to try and do is create a replica of this turbine. Okay. And that blade is going around really <laughs> fast, so I'm just going to uh, engage the coils and drop the power so it slows down. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to build it right next to here. So, we're going to build an exact replica, but as the left-hand version of this. Okay. So this is how many by how many? 7 by 7 by seven. 12, I think. 7 by 7, so that's 6, 7. And one thing you can know, actually, is you can build a horizontal version, so the blade is horizontal instead of vertical. Okay. But I think there's a restriction on the how long okay. it can be, and there's not doesn't seem to be as much of a restriction on height, so hmm. I think height seems to work better. Okay. Okay, let's put the, um, before we go any further, let's put the controllers in on this side. So you want a controller here. Okay, controller. Uh, so you've got an, a controller here. Yeah. And then you've got... No, no, do it this way around, so that it's like the mirror version. Oh, I see. Um, can I get back to this? Okay. Controller here. And then the fluid port here. Mirror version. So over here. So oh, it's two, two fluid ports. And then... Can't reach. Okay, okay. this is where we're going to get stuck because... And this is the power tap. Yeah, well, ignore the power tap. We'll put the power tap in. Oh. It needs to be in there, but... I'll put it in there. Oh, yeah. That is not a power tap. Was it not? <laughs> I must have given you something completely wrong. That was a red net port. But, um, I will put a power tap in for you. That's just the same as the last one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is where you get the power out of. And, um, did I not put the recipe up? Yeah, I did put the recipe up. Okay, now we're gonna oh, come over here, into the middle. Okay. And right in the middle needs to be a bearing. Bearing, bearing. For the rotor. This is the diamond one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think it might be easier for us to do this in creative, just because you can fly around. Okay. Oh, uh... yeah. Just for the tutorial, we will go into creative. Okay, just make it easier. No, yeah, no. otherwise it'll take a while. Well, so we build the frame. <clears throat> yeah, construction everywhere. Right. Just build an outer frame. Okay, now I'm going to put glass on every side. And I think uh, you can spin up as many turbines as you want for one reactor, as long as you can produce enough steam. Okay, to actually power it and push it. Mm -hmm. Okay, should I put the turbines in before we lock up? Okay, yeah. Turbines? So you want to do you want to do the rotor all the way up? The rotary blade. The uh, no the. Or the shaft, rotor shaft. The rotor shaft. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So put 
this in the same length as that. And it goes all the way up, but you don't need a ro uh, bearing at the top. Is that one too many? Have I got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going, you gotta go. No, you gotta go all the way up. Okay. Eight. This goes all the way up. Nine. So what you can see over there are blocks of ender. So um, is that used for cooling as well? That is actually the coils, the induction coils to produce okay, power. Okay, so when they're activated, it will take energy from the the system. Yeah. So system. I threw you okay. a block down. If you want to go grab that, oh. Oh. the bottom is in the bottom there. I see. Okay. So yeah. So come to the top, and you want to go all the way around the rotor shaft with this block of ender. Okay, what do I need to do with that? Okay. So, um, you can use different materials. You can use like gold or iron, and they all have different properties. Mm -hmm. And they all generate different amounts of power and have different drag values. Okay. But end is pretty good and it's extremely expensive. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I'm just going to fill in the top with just normal blocks the um, housing in glass. The next thing we're going to want to do is put the um, turbine blades on. So you want to do two on each side. North, south, east, west. Two on each side. If you start at the bottom, it's probably easier. Just put one straight down on the floor. Right there. That's yeah. on the right. It's fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm 100% sure. Like this? Yeah. Keep adding them, and you see they just correct once you've added them in. Oh, I see. Okay, that, that's fine now. So you want to do that all the way up? Yeah. It's a little bit fiddly. It's a little bit fiddly, yeah. Okay. I just... Oh, you want to do the back one first, so you're going to trap yourself in. And again with the, this and the, the other reactor, um, your layout of your turbine changes how much energy it produces. Okay. So this is probably a bad bad design as well, but will do. You can go online and you can look up all different um, layouts. Okay, uh, we've got to fill in this last wall of glass now. Okay, and it changed shape to indicate it's uh, yeah, a complete it block. So if you don't have it, it looks like that. And uh, then uh, nice. Ah, uh, yes, that was really obvious. And all we've got left now is the super laminar pipes, which I have in my inventory. Oh, uh, we have to change this. We still got the, the hammer, not the hammer, the wrench. Uh, I do still have the hammer. You want to change this to an outlet? Um, this one. Yeah. Getting out. And I'm just going to hook up the pipes. Bang. Bang. Nice. And then you can go into the control panel and switch it on. Switch it on. Okay. And that should be doing something. Yeah, it's just died. How can you tell if the um, coils are on or off? Uh, it's on the, um, if you go into the menu, Yeah. the engage coils. I don't think you can oh, tell just it. by looking. Uh, it does highlight the button. I wasn't sure. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so, so it is on and it is producing I power as well as. I can't remember how much this was producing before. It was something like 20,000. This is saying 500k RF. It's rising. This one's 1.5k. Oh, that's the storage inside it. Oh, okay. So if you look in the menu here, the second one down shows you how much it's producing per tick. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. So this one over here, we've had spinning for a while, and it's about the right speed. I'm trying to balance it. And that's producing 15, so that was about the same as one reactor before. Okay. So 1800 is fine. Mm. Yeah, I've done that quite well, haven't I? Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Um, so yeah, when this one's up to speed, they'll both be producing what, 15 each, so 30,000. So it's wow. about double of this reactor. But then, so this is these are producing power as well as cooling this reactor down. Yeah, but then the reactor doesn't produce any power. This doesn't produce any power. This produces no power now. Oh really? It's just this just creates steam for the turbines. Oh, it's just a steam crate. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So the the, the power, um, yeah, that's right. The power's been replaced with the hot fluid output. Yeah. Okay. I see. Okay. And that is it. There are the turbines. Nice. So how many turbines could one of these power? I'm not sure. Good try. I've never gone any further. Um, we could produce. We can make the turbines much bigger as well. Much taller. Yeah, much taller. And they produce more, but they are horrendously expensive in the small pack. Yeah. That's really nice. And they look awesome. They do. They're That's really the best cool. part. So yeah, that's it. That's great. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.